Last Sunday, you saw me head to the woods to undertake a style of photography that I very rarely do. And today, you're going to see my final outing with my camera before lockdown, where I headed to the infamous Slane's Castle in Aberdeenshire to undertake some very challenging astro photography. Welcome back to the northeast of Scotland. So I'm sure many of you saw my recent video where I went to Fraserburgh and photographed Canaird Head Lighthouse, did a bit of astrophotography after dark, and it's really spurred me on to get out and do that a little bit more. So tonight I've come to another famous location in the northeast in Aberdeenshire known as Slane's Castle, which I'm sure many of you remember from my previous videos, such as my Dracula one, which went down really well. But tonight we are here to do some astrophotography. It's still twilight just now, I'm gonna get down there before it gets dark and then enjoy the stars as they begin to manifest in the sky and just have a really enjoyable night out in nature admiring the night sky. So I knew this castle was going to be great for astrophotography, but it is in many ways exceptional because you've got so many different shapes and different vantage points that you can photograph it from during the day or at night like I'm here just now. Now I've never actually been here during the night before, so it's quite exciting to see how this castle is illuminated with the stars. And we're also quite lucky tonight because the moon has yet to rise, which means this night sky and the stars are more illuminated and bright than they would be if the moon was out. That does, however, mean that a lot of the foreground and the castle itself are not lit up by moonlight or any other sort of light which is making it quite difficult so what we've been doing is I've been taking a few images of the castle in silhouette and a few images lighting up the castle with other light sources such as torches that we've got with us which is allowing this tower which I framed in the left hand side of the image to be really lit up and illuminated and a nice focal point with the beautiful stars and constellations above it so I've taken a few photographs already I'm going to take a few more now and I'll show you my favorites in a second and So what I'm doing now is I'm trying to get quite experimental and quite creative by including me in the scene and I've got these two, this lovely archway with these two turrets each side of it and I'm trying to stand in the middle of it and put some light on me to sort of show the scale of this castle and the archway and what I believe possibly would have been the main entrance before this castle became a ruin. And just enjoying this scene and trying to showcase the stars and the beautiful wonder above it. I'm finding this quite difficult if I'm honest. The fact that the moon's not out tonight, although I said earlier it was really good, it is making illuminating the foreground of the castle very difficult with artificial light. But I'm working with it, I'm learning from it, and hopefully this image or a few of these images will be decent enough to show and it will showcase the scale of this wonderful arch and the beauty of this location.
pretty challenging this evening. I think one of the issues is that I'm sort of forgetting that this new camera I'm using is much better in low light conditions than my previous crop sensor DSLR. And I often, like, I've always been under this mindset of using the lowest ISO possible to, you know, prevent it being too grainy. But the thing with these full frame mirrorless cameras is that you can bump your ISO up really high and the grain is just pretty much non-existent, even with it being a really high level. So at the end there, I did bump my ISO up quite high and I was able to pick out a lot more of the stars and a lot more of the scene, which is really, really interesting, but it was just getting so cold and I was really struggling to illuminate a lot of the foreground in that as well. I think in terms of astrophotography, I've still got a lot to learn and I need to invest in some really good LED lights for this kind of thing as well, for nights like tonight when the moon's not out. But overall, I learned a lot from tonight. I really, really enjoyed it and I hope one or two of the images were good enough and you, you enjoyed viewing them too and enjoyed this trip. It's incredibly difficult though to vlog in the dark. Um, <laughs> on cue. Oh no! It's incredibly difficult though to vlog in the dark, as you've just seen. Um, but yeah, it's something that I really enjoy and although we're getting into summer, well spring, coming up to summer now, um, astrophotography is going to become less and less, but it's something that hopefully by autumn I'll be more into and know more about and be able to enjoy it. So. In many ways, roll on autumn for that. But in the meantime, thank you all again for watching. And I look forward to hopefully seeing you all again next time.